Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'll be making the cards be able to flip and check into the check function. In the last video, we made a function solution, solution, and we made a check function. We'll make a new variable. This variable will be called num on equals one. Num on equals one. Then we'll have the code for it. Right underneath the c one dot remove and c two dot remove, we'll have card one set on click listener card one background will be changed into the image it's changing into. We'll have a if statement to go to it. If R one dot X is not equal to B, then I'll be able to play the code. So inside we'll have a if num if num on equals one. And change it. Change num on to equal two. E one dot add R one. So right here is if num one equals one, then change num on to be two and add card one array with card one. Then we'll have an else if statement saying saying if c1 but zero not equal card one zero does not equal card one then c2 dot add card one because this is the second time it's being played, we'll have a check function so we can um, check if it's fully through. And then you do it for the rest of the cards. I'll go, I'll skip ahead until I'm done with it. So <clears throat> after you finish all of the code, you gotta make sure you put the images correctly so it lines up correctly as the solution. And if we run the app, it should look like this. You click on an image, it doesn't change. But if you click on another image and it's wrong, it'll, they'll both flip over. Like that. But if it's right, it'll give you a point and it'll stay up. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe. Bye.